Hi Saurabh, thank you so much for joining us today for NB Insights. We'd like to delve into the topic of NRI investments in Indian real estate. We've noticed that over the past three years, NRI investments in India have risen significantly. Why do you think this has been happening? Look, there are multiple factors that is contributing to NRI's investing in India. Firstly, Indian economy has been doing extremely well. It's one of the fastest growing economies in the world. And that gives a lot of confidence to people across the world when they think about investing in India. Second, uh, the real estate in India is one of the hottest destinations. There are very few places in the world where real estate is doing well, and India is actually one of them. That's also a reason that a lot of people believe that they should invest in Indian real estate. Thirdly, the rupee has been depreciating, which makes it easier for NRIs to invest into India. But overall, I believe that both the investors and end users, NRIs, are investing in India because they believe this is an upcycle, the prices will go up, and the end users are thinking that they should buy the property now before the prices go up, and investors are thinking that they should buy a property so that they can sell it at a higher price later on. From which countries do we have the maximum NRIs investing into India? So a lot of investment happens from UAE, Gulf countries, USA, UK, Singapore. These are the countries that contribute majorly to buying properties in India. Uh, across the world we see NRIs investing into India, but these are the four major contributors. So for NRIs looking to invest in India, do you have a piece of advice that you'd like to share with them? I think one very important thing for NRIs is do their diligence. They should research about the locality, they should research about what infra is coming in, what is happening in that locality and areas around that. A uh, lot of price data is available on platforms like No Broker, what has been the trend, what's developing, what's coming new. And they should also seek guidance from professionals because Indian market has a lot of information which needs to be factored in before they buy a property. So my suggestion would be do their diligence, speak to experts, and then buy the best property that they can get in the market.